47,000 students are expected to ride a Duval County school bus. That means drivers are responsible for 47,000 young lives every day. Action News Jack's investigator Lorena Inclan is live. And Lorena, it takes hundreds of buses and thousands of man hours to get these students to school safely. And you know what, John? Starting on Monday, 850 of buses just like this will be on the road along with you. And the only goal of these drivers is to get the students to school and back home safely, which is why the district tells me that it's making sure that all the drivers know what to do whenever there's an emergency. This Jacksonville mom is getting ready to see her two kids off to school on Monday. Kindergarten for her, pre-K for him, pre-K for She's still debating whether to let her son ride the school bus alone. She tells me there are some things she'd like to see that'll help her feel more comfortable. More adults in there just to make sure the kids are behaving themselves. Those are some of the same concerns other local parents are having too. The pickup and drop off will be on 103rd Street. The school district gave Action News Jack access to its school bus call center where parents can call a hotline to get their most pressing questions answered. The director of transportation, Erica Harding, tells me drivers are trained to know how to handle conflicts on board. The driver is to give verbal commands to the students to stop that kind of horse play. But if that doesn't work, drivers can take it a step further. We've asked them to pull over to the side of the road, call dispatch, and ask for assistance. And to help with investigations, every single school bus is equipped with surveillance cameras. Not only does the video assist in terms of being able to see what happened, uh, sometimes the audio helps. A sigh of relief for this Jacksonville mom who struggles with the idea of letting her son go. It eases my mind a little bit. Now, the director of transportation did tell me that sometimes they have trouble with the equipment, the surveillance equipment in the buses, and sometimes they may not record. I did follow up with the district and ask them how often they maintain the surveillance cameras on board the bus, and a spokesperson tells me that she's trying to get that information for me. As soon as I hear back, we will update the story online. Reporting live in Regency, Lorena Inclan, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax. Action News Jax wants to know which measures you believe keep your child safest on the bus, whether that be cameras, extra bus attendants, or smartphone apps. You can vote on actionnewsjax.com slash vote. Right now, 90% of you saying bus attendants.